What's up YouTube? If you're thinking about changing your spark plugs or tuning your car, you might want to consider changing your spark plugs. Mercedes do go through spark plugs faster than other makes. Do not expect a 100,000 mile uh, change. Um, another thing is that they make revisions to the spark plugs over time according to some tuners. Uh, whereas, you know, before they might have been a little too hot, even stock, um, they do make some changes. So what we're looking at here is actually the fuel rail, and now we switch over to the ignition coil boot, um, which is direct. It's 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 kind of a pain in the butt to get off. You're going to need like kind of a special tool. I'll put a link in. Here you can see that this grease is a little bit burned, so I actually replaced this coil. Um, and you can see kind of different colors of the coils versus the new coil. And um, the boots are easy to rip, like I mentioned. Uh, they're very easy to rip. Luckily, Mercedes actually sells the boots um, as individual parts. Uh, so if you need to, you can run out to your local Mercedes dealer and I'm sure get ripped off. I'm sorry, you're a motor car is loving buying cars from you, but you know, your service department, oh my god. Um, so here we can see it's 17 pound feet of torque for the. Um, for the sparks and I believe that roughly translates into um, tight and then like a little bit like a quarter turn past tight. Uh, everything else is 6.64 pounds and what I mean by that are like these little coil, uh, these little screws as you can see right here. Those are going to be 6.6 uh, .6 pounds, 6.67 pounds. All right. So um, this is a hard job. It's going to be probably the limit of most do-it-yourselves. You're going to need some special tools. You're going to need uh, a, at least some swivels, uh, extension swivels. Here you can see this, this special tool for removing the electronics and the boot. Um, a lot of people say to do this job when the engine's cold. I actually don't think that's necessary. I want to do it when it's piping hot either. But when the engine is cold, the plastic can be brittle too. So I would do it sort of in the middle, like not super cold, not super hot. Maybe you just drove like eight hours ago, six hours ago, something like that, four hours ago. Um, or cold. I, I wouldn't do it hot. So you take off these connectors. Um, they can be a little bit um, fragile just because they're brittle, you know. Um, you pop them off with the connector, then use the same tool to actually uh, sort of pry the boots off of the um, spark plugs. You remove the spark plugs. It's going to be, um, I believe, a 14 millimeter, but it, it's a special 12 point socket. I'll put a link in for that. Um, and you're going to need a swivel, you're going to need swivel extenders. And the places that they put the spark plugs are interesting, just like the fuel injectors. They're an interesting place. Um, so it is, it's going to be hard to access. It, it's sort of beneath where you'd imagine. It's, it's much um, deeper than you might expect. Uh, it's not impossible, it is difficult. Uh, so I believe this job cost about a thousand bucks from Mercedes, like $780, something like that. Uh, it's going to run about $220 just for the OEM spark plugs. Uh, you're probably going to need a new uh, coil, at least one. You're probably going to need some new coil boots, and you're probably going to need um, the tools. So the tools minimum is going to be like $14 for that 12-point socket. I would strongly recommend uh, swivel extenders as well.